what up what up good morning I am going to start the vlog off right today and talk to you before I actually do what it is that I'm doing instead of doing it afterwards so it is I don't know my phone is in my bag but it is about 6 30 in the morning um, and I am going to Chichen Itza today This is one of the things that I've been the most excited about uh, since I started planning for my trip. I was going to go on Friday and then my, all of my camera stuff wasn't charged and I didn't want to do it halfway and get there and then have all the batteries for my tech just die and not be able to capture it the way that I wanted to. Um, so then I decided to go on Saturday, uh, but then I was switching hostels that day and I just didn't want the hassle of having to pack up all of my stuff and leave it in storage and then go and come back and switch hostels and all that kind of stuff. So I ultimately decided to just switch hostels yesterday, hang out again, and then today go to Chichen Itza. Uh, so I don't know how long I'll stay there, uh, since typically people stay between two to three hours. I'm trying to catch a colectivo. Uh, so I don't have to take the ADO bus because if you take the ADO bus um, one it's more expensive and two it doesn't get there until later on in the morning and that's when all of the tourists and everything arrive so if you take a colectivo it's I think about 40 pesos um, that's what I've been reading and seeing so yeah so then we get there like mad early either right before or right after it opens um, and then we kind of have the place to ourselves um, there's not that many people so I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen fingers crossed um, I'm headed out now to try to find a uh, collective all right vamonos It is so quiet out here. All I can hear are the birds and there's an occasional car or motorbike that goes by. Uh, but for the most part, everybody is still at home. Everybody's probably still asleep. And I think that's wonderful. That's the way that it should be. I am here, I made it in, that process was so easy. I literally picked up a colectivo, uh, I think we left right around 7.30 from Valladolid and uh, it took about 40-45 minutes to get here. It was 40 pesos, 40 pesos. And then the entrance fee for here at Chichen Itza was 242 pesos. Um, they just give you a ticket, you literally walk in, they scan it, and that's it. This process is super simple. I made it! One of the new seven wonders of the world. If you can, I would definitely 
recommend getting here early. There is nobody around here. I don't think anybody's realized that they can come back into this area yet. Uh, there are a few like people setting up their handicrafts and stuff like that. Um, but no tourists, no guests. I'm the only one besides a few people setting up their art that's back here. And it's really, I don't know, there's just a, a good vibe to it. I get to kind of think about things and reflect on things without having a thousand tourists around and all talking and, and everything. So yeah, it's, it's pretty magical back here by yourself. <laughs> So there's a prohibited to enter sign but right behind it there are other monuments and other structures so I'm curious as if they're doing uh, excavations or what and I'm t <sighs> if I didn't study TV production I had a huge uh, interest in archaeology and anthropology uh, that definitely would have been my second thing that I would have chosen to do. Um, very interested in, in history. I kind of just want to like hop the fence, but obviously I'm not going to do that. But I am curious. It's extremely impressive to be witnessing these things. These columns and these structures were built between 900 and 1200 AD. So this place is absolutely massive. Just when I think that I'm just about done, then I come across another section and there's a whole bunch more structures. Definitely set aside several hours if you want to see everything that they have here. I recommend that you definitely wear sneakers or some type of hiking boots, some shoes that you don't care about getting dirty because there's a lot of mud, there's a lot of clay, um, and if you wear flip-flops it is possible that you will slip or just get completely dirty. So just a little tip. Ça a donné la opportunité à Montezuma, l'empereur de la Seine, 
Ya Cortés, el conquistador. What you heard them demonstrating was that if you clap on one end or if you scream really loud or say something really loud on that end, it reverberates and echoes back from the other side. It's actually kind of crazy. This place is pretty pretty huge that you can uh, you can hear them clapping in the background as well. Uh, that you can hear it echo like that. It's pretty interesting. All right, it is about 11.15. I've been here for about three hours now and all of the tour buses are starting to come in. All of the artisans have set up their little markets and it's time for me to go. Hopefully you can hear me because I just turned on the fans and hadn't got the shot yet so there may be noise of the fan in the background. Anyways, so what up, what up? It is Monday morning, August 28th, and I am leaving Valladolid, and I am heading to Tulum. Uh, really excited, it's been a while since, well, not a while, it's been like a week and a half since I've had a beach uh, near me. Uh, so I'm excited to get to Tulum and explore that area and lay out on the beach for a while. All right, I have to pack the last few things and then I am headed out of here to the ADO bus station to take the bus to Tulum. Lego.